Okay, Matthew, uh, one-all draw here at Park. Give us your thoughts on it. Yeah, I thought, thought it was a tough game. You know, conditions and fair play to everybody that turned up to make the pitch uh, playable. The wind then <laughs> picked up again, which probably didn't make it a great spectacle for anybody. And, and fair, fair play to everybody today. You know, the players of both teams to get out and play and, and everybody that cleared the pitch up. It was just, you know, from our point of view, we're just a little bit disappointed we didn't get three points um, as a reward for everybody that, that worked so hard today. But it's a, you know, a hard-earned point and, and another performance and vital um, point from coming from behind. That's the third match in a row we've came from behind and, 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 and earned a draw. That's trying to please you. Yeah, of course it does. Look, during the week, or it might have been last week, whenever it was, when the announcement was made and the team said, ah, sure, you have nothing to play for now. And it really annoyed me and it disappointed me that people think that. And then... You know, they say, look, it's easy now, you can just let yourself go. You can't just let yourself go because we have pride in how we're playing. You can't tell me that Portdown Football Club don't have nothing to play for. We had, I don't know how many people cleaning snow off the pitch today. We have the players putting performances in like that. So the next person that questions whether we have anything to play for will be on the end of the worst volley of abuse they've ever had from anybody. And certainly from me. Because I don't want people questioning that we're not doing everything we can every week because we want to make... The league is competitive and as honest as we can. Ocean Connolly has even got the, the sponsors man of the match. He really, really did deserve it. Superb, and it's just reward um, because he's had three away games on the bounce. You know, he's only started away games for us, and and some that's unfortunate. You know, it's just the way that the games have fallen, and he's been super away at Linfield. He was super last Saturday at uh, Coleraine, and then again on Tuesday night, I thought he worked really, really hard, and it was good for him to get a home game where he could do look. I want them to go and play so we can play a bit of football, but we couldn't today because of the conditions. So it was really good, and, and I'm really pleased because it st- saves me going to the off sales because he's only 17, so he's not allowed a bottle of champagne. So I'll take that home. Happy Valentine's Day to Becca. <laughs> back, uh, back here on Tuesday night, looking forward to it. Yeah, I love football, and the boys love playing. They, I think they love it whenever I say, Do you know what, you worked so hard today, they don't need to come into training tomorrow morning, and that's the way it's going to be because it's Saturday, Tuesday, recovery sessions in between. Um, and we'll be looking forward to playing Glen Torren here. Yeah. Good one, thank you. Cheers.